Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about counters in Simatic Manager. A counter is a PLC instruction that either increments, that is counts up or decrements an integer number value when prompted by the transition of a bit from 0 to 1. I have opened my Simatic Manager and this is where we have the counters. You can expand on that. We have three different types of counters. We have count up and down counter. We have a count up counter and a count down counter. Let's start with the count up counter. So I have a new network and I'll include a normally open contact there. And then I'm gonna add a count up counter. At this input we can call it a 0.0. .0. And the counter we can call it C1. We have this CU here. This is the count up. This is where you feed your count up signal or pulse. Then this S means set. Then we have the preset value and the reset. We have connected our normally open contact with the count up. We shall add another normally open contact here for the set. Let's call this one i 0 0.1 then for the preset value this is the value that you want your counter to start let's say it can start counting from 10 or 20 so that is the preset value then we have the reset signal i 0 0.2 q is for the output and then we have the counter value this will display or record the count value we can store it in a memory word, mw0. Let's download this to our virtual PLC. For the counter to start working, we have to first give it a pulse at set, and that will be i0.1. And here you can see the preset value is 10. And if I give a pulse at i0.0, you can see it changes from 10 to 11 and it can go on and on incrementing that value 14 15 and so on and at this point if i give a pulse again at set i0.1 the counter gets set from 10 if i give a signal at reset i0.2 then the counter gets reset to zero and at this state if i still want the counter to start counting and i give a signal at i0.0 you can see the counter will start counting from zero up. But when I, when I give a signal at set, then it will start counting from 10. So that is the up counter. I have created a new network. We can name it down counter. And again, let's introduce a normally open contact. Then here we select the down counter. Let's call this I0.3. Let's call this one counter 2. Uh, for the set signal, let's address it i0.4. For the preset value, it will still be 10. And for the reset signal, let's give it i. 0 0.5 This counter, just like its name suggests, it counts decrements. That means if your preset value is 10, if you give it a signal at count down, it will count from 10 to 9, to 8, and so on, up to 0. Let's start by giving it a signal at set, i0.4. Our preset value is 10. If we give it a signal at countdown, i0.3, this value changes from 10 to 9, 
and so on it goes up to zero and if i give it a signal at reset a 0.5 the counter gets reset to zero and at this state it cannot count even if you give it a signal at a 0.3 Reason being, this being a down counter, it's already at zero. And so you have to first give it a signal at set so that it can start functioning. I have inserted a new network. I can call it up down counter. Here we shall introduce a normally open contact. And then we shall introduce a our last counter which is the up down counter that means it can function as a down counter and also as an up counter let's give this an address i0.3 let's call this one c3 for our countdown signal let's give it i0.4 for the set signal, let's give it a 0 0.5 and for the preset value, let's give it 10. For the reset signal, let's give it a 0 0.6. For the count value, we can store it in memory word 1. Let's download it to our virtual PLC. If I give it a signal at set, i0.5, this value changes from changes to 10. And from this point, if I give the counter a count up signal, i0.3, it changes from 10 to 11 to 12 and so on. I can also give it a countdown signal, i0.4, and it starts decrementing. If I give it a reset signal, I0.6, it resets the counter to zero. And at this state, only the counter up signal can work, I0.3. If I give it a countdown signal, nothing happens because it's already at zero. So that's it, guys. Those are the three types of counters in Simatic Manager. I hope you have enjoyed the video and kindly subscribe to this channel for more videos.